damage. Leonidas drops the stun and drops the full ult. Oh my goodness, look at the health bars. It's a quad kill. King should find the kill. Lunara will clean up that fight. Oh my god, I can't believe it. It is going to be Soul Shield. You gotta be kidding me. And Rana take the 3v1, gets one. Looking for the second. Crispy is popping off. Crispy. It's like that Blizzard may connect with four oh, people. Lady Ronin. Oh my goodness, what a chat. That was really good. Gotski looking for that damage, finds him on the Diablo, Diablo forced to back out as their health drops low, the Immortal now is at 20 Back down, yo, on the Greyman, give me the first of all. But is it ETC? No, that's Malthale up there, a triple. The Leilai needs in the back, catching three people on top of that, followed up by the APOC and the Lurking Hunt, catching two, but this time on, it's gonna be the first one. Wow, did you see that mosh pit? Four man mosh pit, while on a conveyor belt, that was like a regular sushi. There's the lead, catches him in the mud pit, time trap does pop, uh, mosh pit goes out, Fubi's still in trouble, pops to stay a while and listen, but it's not gonna I didn't think they had a chance. I thought it was all over. We said all or nothing, and they got absolutely everything. All right, here we go. That uh, maybe that's not the screen we want at the moment. Here we go. Let's come here so we can get a good look at the Dairy Doodle. I'm having an issue with my uh, uh, yeah, I was talking to Murda about that, Pat. Um, I my game is uh, trying to load, so we'll see if I can get it to load this time. Uh, oh, it's it happened during the season, right? So we'll probably I bet we'll get one made up for next season. Um, Howdy, hello, welcome to uh, twitch.tv slash El Taquito, I'm Taco, we're bringing you a uh, replay of Season 13 NGS Division C West playoffs between Psystorm, Probes, oh, what was that little wriggle, and Ice Crown, Citadel, Valkyries. Is the game really not going to let me op open it from the freaking browser? They're not browser from the file. All right, you know this would have been good prep ahead of time for me to load in. So you know hiccups, delays, whatever. That's fine. Um. Anywho, uh, Division C West playoffs. Psystorm looks like it's an org that's kind of growing, uh, growing right now. We got I know I've seen Banshees and Probes. I think there's a couple others. ICC is a good is a good and growing org. Uh, there's queens raiders i think knights still uh valkyries uh definitely getting good community groups here in ngs really excited about that good my game worked that time let's um i wonder if it's because let me see if I can move this file. That'll be fun. See, good old um see if I can rename this folder. Cut. You would think that I would know how to do this. I haven't done this in a while, though. Alright, here we go. Uh, paste. Oh my goodness, really? Are you shitting me? All right, let's see if this works.
Gotta love, gotta love having issues getting the stuff to work. All right, I think this will work this time. Getting it, man. I haven't, I haven't replayed Cast in a while. So thanks for hanging out. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on. Um, that's the wrong button screen. Hang on. That's the right button screen. So we've got, it looks like the game, it looks like it's loading properly now. Well, maybe not. So the first map is, I believe we landed on Braxis Holdout. Now we're loading in. All right, cool, let's go over here. Into, let's take a look at the draft. We've got on Braxis Holdout with uh, Psystorm Probes having the first pick got Rexar cool yeah you know what let's let them all load up we've got Joanna Brightwing Cassia Junkrat and Rexar into Blaze Tychus Anubrak White Man and Jaina that's interesting uh, so uh oh you know what screw you game or not game, other thing. Now that we're in. So we've got... I really like... I like both of these teams. Rexar, really heavy point control. Junkrat, point denial and control. Joe and the Caster are going to synergize really well. And Brightwing's there to do Brightwing things. I really don't see... The only issue that I see with this Psystorm Probes draft, it would let me go to the game screen, um, is Wave Clear, which I think Junkrat can kind of take care of, Joe can kind of take care of, but I think if they run into what into Zerg waves, they're going to struggle. On the other side of this draft, with Blaze, Tychus, Anubrak. White Man and Jaina. I ah, it, it looks looks pretty strong. Uh, Blaze and Anubarak, really good CC, uh, layered on top of each other, gonna give Jaina a lot of room to work, and that's gonna be a nightmare to get away from. Tychus, really good focus damage. Rexar's pretty healthy. Misha's pretty healthy. Joanna's pretty healthy. Gonna be effective, and then getting onto the caster, the Junkrat, just melt down because Tychus does a lot of damage really fast. And white main really good anti burst, but that but the side of Psystorm probes doesn't look that bursty. With that, we will get into the game. Here we go on the right side for ICC Valkyries. We've got uh, Descenderin on the Tychus Slice on the Bug Mend on the Mend on the Jaina Waterlong being uh, playing that. White main and up in the off lane. Valk slays on the blaze. That is Ice Crown Citadel Valkyries. On the side of Psystorm Probes, got Gore on whoever that is. Is that Junkrat? Obelisk playing the Cassia. Ron on the Brightwing. Cortezel on the Junkrat. And then I missed the Joe, I guess. Rexar. Is being played by Xeno Ender. That is Gore on the Joe. Okie doke. Level ones are on the screen. Phase shift. Uh, is that charge strikes? A auto attacks for the Cassia. Got double blinds on the Joe. Coming in with a uh, big old grenade from the Tychus. Was that stacking? No, not the stacking. Something, whatever that is on White Main. Man, it's White Main. And looks like Q. Oh. I tried to hover the talent and I scrolled. Winter's Reach for the Q range on the Jaina. So, uh, I think those are pretty standard talents. You know, uh, it's not a whole lot going on. I'll keep those on the screen. Gonna go ahead and get the face shift out onto the Joe. A great, gr a great junk rat coming from the junk rat to put White Mane into the dead zone. And by the dead zone, I mean she got moved in and then she's dead. A new right looking low. It looks like uh, ICC Valks are going to back off a little bit. Let's take a look at the top lane. Got a Misha stun onto the blaze. As we get up there, Rexar just 
just kind of get that damage out. I like this uh, increased damage to minions on the Rexar, but Rexar looking a little bit low, having a, maybe a little bit of a hard time playing into this adrenaline stim pack on the Blaze, about what you would expect to see from Blaze. Everybody's up. Joanna's on her home on the point, and there's camps getting picked up between or by Junkrat and Brightwing. That's going to leave Joe kind of a little bit on an island. There's a concussion mine to help out. Anubrek investigating that camp sees it. That's going to be two in the middle of four, but Joe getting low, going to have to iron skin to get away from the Tigers. Brightwing's going to fall to the Tigers anyway, and this camp's going to get invaded and stolen by Ice Crown Citadel Valkyries after, uh, or as the Size Storm Probes does get a 2% channel, so Beacon's changing hands at about the same time. Camp trying to get knocked out, wearing down armor on uh, on Cassia and that tower. How many freaking windows do I have over? Ice, ICC Valks holding on to that bottom point. And it looks like uh, ugh, Cassia in a little bit of a pickle gets knocked up by the Anubrak and is going to get taken down. Lots of damage coming out from this Tychus and jo uh, Jaina. Let's go with Jaina. Uh, here's a look at that hero damage so far. Tychus already at 9,000, only three minutes into the game. Jaina, 5,000 percentage damage has a little bit to do with that, but Tychus just in there a bit more. Uh, Jaina's skill shots can't really... You know, they're going to walk out of it. Tigers can follow up with this damage. Right now, the beacons are at a bit of a stalemate. <laughs> Got to get that white main laugh in there. Joe getting a teleport from his right wing after being chunked down by a bit. Blaze going to grab that top point. So ICC Valk's now holding on. To these beacons, they're going to try to stay ahead and keep Psystorm probes out of the beacon. Big uh, chain stun onto the Cassia, but with the blind, Tiger's going to back out. Throws a grenade out, a little bit disruptive. Not a whole lot going to happen. That concussion mine is chilling there. Going to go ahead and get, use it to, I guess, get some damage. I don't see the value in that explosion, though, unfortunately. And it looks like uh, Rexar did manage to get top taken away from, even taken completely from Blaze up there. Got to check in with that offlane every now and then just in case you come in on that 1v1. Big old dive onto the Cassia. The, the cleanse coming out from the Brightwing, but it's not going to be enough. Cassia's going to go down. Joe blinded or blinding the uh, oncoming damage dealers, but they made that murder as though it's their job finishing off the Joe after that blind fell away. Level seven advantage for ICC Valks. Blaze and Jaina not taking their talents yet. We got the full on Beetle Boys coming out of the Anubrek on this Braxis map. I'd be interested in seeing a uh, a Locust Swarm, actually. But probably gonna be Cocoon to disrupt the synergy between Joe and Cassia. That's what I anticipate. Impale comes out, gonna catch two. Flashlight, there's a condemn, but unstoppable onto the Tychus from that white main at level seven. Intercession, it's called. So, so Anduin will chastise and white main will intercede. Got it. Big follow up on that overpower, that spray and pray coming out of, not overpower, what's it called? Over, anyway. The spray and prey coming from Tychus is going to do a lot of damage there. Going to take out Cassia and Joe. The blind, the blind sisters going down. Valkslay is picking up this bruiser camp, that bruiser, this uh, siege camp with the incinerator gauntlets, the adrenaline pack, all that good stuff. While Misha takes back the top can. Level 10s are fast approaching. The end of this first objective may be here soon. Blaze gonna take that top point back. Misha can't rotate down fast enough to stop it. But Psystorm Probes did stop the, or did get 
some control over the bottom, making it neutral. But ICC Valx marching back in. Misha takes that top point again in time. So ICC Valx not going to be getting any channel status right now. Progress, I should say. Valk slays, welcome, thanks for the follow. Speaking of which, while well, it looks like Joe's about to die, Jaina gonna finish that kill, no! Flashlight goes out, Blaze in on the top lane as I click away. Get a kill on the Cassia. We can catch that kill real quick. Cassia in the beacon, stuck, and not. Oh, okay. Jana got the kill anyway, so it wasn't it wasn't a murder by Tychus delivery at least. <laughs> so Cassia's gonna fall there, and control goes back to ICC Valks. Big charge on to Misha, and Misha's handler sitting in sitting there in the back, like I don't care. Misha, the real hero in this game. Siege can't pick up for ICC Valks. And that is going to be objective for the uh, for the Valkyries. Big push coming in from the bottom. Got four-man push. Got the Bruiser camp. Great timing there. Blaze having to, to defend an 18% wave, really just an ultralisk and I think a uh, guardian in there. But otherwise, looking pretty good. It's still a fatty Zerg wave, the Wellemental about to go down. The Valkyrie does catch one of the Valkyries. Jaina, mind you on the mint. Mind, mint. Uh, there is a uh, Zerg kill on to Misha there. Valkyrie not going to secure the kill on Jaina. Gore looking a little bit low, getting tossed around by some grenades. That looks like Valkyries are saying, well, that's the end of our boss. So, okay, bye. Or not our boss, our Zerg wave as I go to look at boss. Um, yeah, okay, bye. We don't, we don't need you anymore. Siege can't pick up by size storm probes. I missed it! Watching that bruiser can't pick up. Valkyries going in and picking up a kill onto the Rexar. I guess Misha then Rexar since we see them both. Siege can't pick up for the Valkyries. Probes coming in top, clearing out the top lane. Gonna try to get a little bit of pressure. They've got some damage on this wall up here, but now we see a potential 4v4. Look at the range of that chastise, or, or the, whatever it is. Oh, you know what? We do have level tents. I missed the level tents. Unleash the boars, rip tire, Valkyrie. There is the Valkyrie. Gonna catch the Anubrak and pushing, pushing Jaina out to the side. Cassia going to be murderated though. In the process, pulling death to herself apparently is Cassia. Commandeer Odin comes out. This is going to be a big push past the fort. Dive in the fort, Cocoon onto the Joe. Brightwing taken out by the Jaina. Burrow charge in onto the junk rat, but concussion mine on the Tychus as Joe comes out of that cocoon. Joe's going to walk away this side. The Beetle Boy is gonna start tanking for tanking this fort, it looks like. Yes. So at least for Zip Tired Valkyrie, Blink Heel and Falling Sword into the homie bunker, Commandeer Odin. Cocoon 
sacred no holy crap consecrated divine reckoning one of those and the elemental beacons are online Falling Sword for the Unstoppable is going to be enough to get the Cassie out probably. Big damage focus onto the Joe after that. That Falling Sword to the rescue. Joe wanna rescue Rangers. I think that's how that works. I don't know. Do you remember the show, Chippendale Rescue Rangers? Now I know why they're not wearing pants. So that's because, you know, at some point you learn about Las Vegas. Big blaze stun! Jeffrey is going to catch the Joe and it's going to splash onto the Briming for the stun. And that's going to result in the Joe kill. A cocoon on the Brightwing. That Brightwing going to be in a bad space. Jet Propulsion going to put, going to put Blaze at the end of that Valkyrie range and then get caught by the Valkyrie. Unfortunate chain of events for the Blaze. Cassia getting a good kill in there. Psy Storms looking for an opportunity to move back in on this game, but the full channel goes off on the beacon for ICC Valkyries. Valkyries gonna get the second Zerg wave. No, no, no. Most of the Zerg are headed this way. Do something. Mind Zero, thanks for the fun. Yeah, do I though? Do I need to learn the talent names? <laughs> On the mend, on the Jaina, moving on in. There is the Well of Mental with the Burrow Charge coming in. Come to your Odin is out, building up into that Megatron. Crush is here. Oh, I'm honored. He got the, the Master Caster around now. Face shift out on to the Brightwing. I believe I just saw the Valkyrie miss. Here comes the Riptire for the disruption. This is looks like actually a pretty quick clear of the Zerg wave. Not going to get this keep. However, trade of, of the healer in the tank. Anubra going to go down, diving in a little too deep, trying to keep up above in his head instead of, well, Anubrax dead. That is, but that trade uh, kind of in favor of, of uh, Psystorm. Given they died at the same time, Psystorm is down two levels and a talent and they go one for one, and the death timer on Brightwing is so much shorter, and as Psystorm moves out, the uh, travel Brightwing can just teleport. Probably. Probably gonna have that up. Camps are getting picked up. This is getting, let's take a look. Wrong button. So, we've got a lot of spread out here, right? So ICC Valks pushing in top. That Bruiser camp is going to help separate both teams getting their camps. And it looks like they may be moving in on the boss as Psy Storms start to move towards the bottom. We are getting a little bit of a flank, though. Blaze getting some vision. But overall, pre the camp pressure is about even. But the uh, lane pressure overall in the favor of Valkyries having a keep down and both forts down. That's going to be a bro charge that looks like maybe into the wrong spot. The Falling Sword going to disrupt the White Mane. Unstoppable leg coming out with the Commodore Odin. Here's the Red Tire going to split up the three. The Jaina Blizzard looks like it's missing out as the Misha goes down. Ron trying to face shift in on Joe. Not going to go off. So Joe and Cassia both die. And that looks like a two and a half for none in favor of Valkyries. And they're just going to start marching in and try to take the second key. That, those chattering teeth going off. Speaking of which, here's a look at these talents. Both uh, Sysorm about to hit 16. So lots of talents to look at. And the Beetle Boys just doing so much tanking. Uh, Nubrak picked up the, uh, I guess he's still one of the Beetle Boys. But uh, using those Beetle Boys for that siege value and a nice set of chain stun to take out the Rexar is going to allow Valkyries to finish up this keep. Valk slays no health, no mana, saying. Peace, I'm out of here as she goes to uh, max out at the at the fountain. So I'll catch up with you later.
getting clear onto the bruiser camp. It looks like Psystorm on the way to that top lane. But time is not on the side of Psystorm probes as their Rexar is respawning. Here's the Falling Sword for the protection, the Junkrat bomb on the Anubrak for the displacement, but Valkyrie is doing a good job of staying knit together. Then being packed in doesn't really pose a threat to them into the Psystorm draft. But the, uh, the Rip Tire comes out for a little bit of separation, but Cassia and Brightwing are both gonna go down. Here comes the next wave from the Zerg. That's going to be a furrow charge in on the Joe. Iron skin out. Big ol' condemn. Let's take a look as this Zerg wave comes in. Rexar is under wraps. And the jet propulsion. I'm not sure if that hit, but the impale certainly did. And the homie bunker comes out. This looks like four may be going down with only Junkrat to defend. Is the Zerg wave even going to make it? It looks like the Zerglings themselves are, but does the Ultralist? No, the Ultralist doesn't even get an attack animation off. What is going on? ICC Valks taking game number one, which I imagine is going to give Psystorm Probe's first pick for game number two. However, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes people pick the map. Apparently, supposedly, map pick has the higher win rate in NGS for season 13. Big old victory screen. We've got... That damage is close, though. Junkrat leading the way with the damage. Cassia uh, trailing a bit for the Jaina. So that's where that damage sort of comes out. And the offlane Blaze. Blaze bringing in a lot of damage as well. So it should be... Yeah. Yeah, just like that. Three kills to 20. A lot of really close calls for ICC Valks, but Psystorm Probes, unfortunately, not being able to finish them off. Valkyries walk away with game number one. And let's take a look at game number two. Psystorm Probes picked Towers of Doom. Thank you for the info. Um, cool. My... I guess I'm going to have to type my password with every game I'm... Uh, Crush, uh, do you remember... Were, are people having trouble loading replay... Oh, that's why. People having trouble loading replays from within the launcher and having a better time loading it from, uh, from the file path or going into the watch in the game? I remember someone saying they're having trouble with their overlays. All right, we've got Dahaka, Orphea, Greymane, Anduin, Garrosh, into Blaze, Vala, Jaina, Muradin, and Lucio. Slice, the Lucio coming okay, in. Yes. Slice, thank you for the follow. Let's take it. Actually, let's first pause real quick. Let's take a look at the draft. So before we do the, I can introduce the teams as well. Xenowinder on the day, Haka Garrosh on, Garrosh being played by Gore Cortezel on the Orphea. Yeah, of course, Slice and Duck. Uh, love, love to do it. Oh yeah, sure, go ahead. Um, there was uh, some issues getting it set up, so you can probably, you may just want to cut to the uh, beginning of game one. Obelisk. Uh, playing that gray main and Ron on the Andu weenie and a win and a win Please now is not the time for that. Also, it will never be the time for that That's what I had to say about that. That is Psystorm Probes over here for ICC Valkyries. We've got Waterlong on the Lucio. Oh slice slice on the Muradin not Lucio Muradin slices the tank on the mend, on the Jaina, yet again. Hopefully those injuries heal up. Okay, but real talk, is it mend or mind? Um, 
because Jaina could be on my mind. I mean, we never know. But look how she starts that cloud. That bracelet right there. Oh, I love that. I love that bracelet. I love love that bracelet. That's what's that's what's keeping Jaina on my mind. Valkslays on the blaze. Uh oh oh, e there we go. And Dason Darren play bringing it in on the Valala. So we've got Girash, Anduin, Graven, Orphea, Dahaka into Blaze, Vala, Jaina, Muradin, Lucio. I don't see. Okay, mind, gotcha. <laughs> I don't see probes getting away from Valkyrie. Blaze and Muradin, super muddy. Jaina, super muddy. Lucio, got the boostio. Gonna make it where uh, Valk, Valk stays close to... Uh, where Valx is gonna stay close to... The, uh, the, the probes. So I think probes are gonna have a hard time doing that. That being said, Greyman and Orphea is a lot of burst damage. Garrosh, Anduin... Dahaka, really good support staff. So you get, I'm thinking Garrosh throws in a light bomb to Gray Main. Gray Main pops off. That's going to be, I think, the ideal setup for probes is turning into fights that Valkyrie is they're trying to take. Valkyrie is going to use a good chunk of resources in making the engage. I think probes has a better disengage. It's going to be difficult, but that's the way I see this Gray Main or if you light bomb working out. That being said, we've met the teams, ICC Valkyries. We've met Psy Storm Probes. With no, without further ado, let's roll into the game. Here on Towers of Comebacks. You keep banning Stukov, so it's only fair. I imagine that's something to do with uh, Anduini getting picked up. You know what, I did all that talking during the pause, so I don't have anything for the 30 seconds entering in. Let's take a look at something. Let, let's look at this. Let's, let's look at these. Five, look at the art. Look at four, the detail. They've even three, got it, like, two, chipped away one. and stuff. Let the battle begin. And the light even changes in intensity. Here's a lo look at the, uh, <laughs> at the talents for level one. We do get the E-Quest from the Orphea! All right, so here's the real question. Does Garrosh run out front to buy the quest? No, never mind. That E is down. E is down. Ooh, the, the groundbreaker misses. Garrosh down the slow, getting knocked out by the Lucio. Dahaka already up top, getting that XP. Rotate bottom. It's towers of doom. It's the bottom lane. Um, be and be so I'm not doing predictions either because the uh, spoilers are online. I know it's just channel points that don't do anything, but still, some of you heathens make me work out. I actually have the workout ones turned off right. now the workout rewards turned off right now because I have, I believe, tendonitis in my rotator cuff. I should be getting an MRI soon. Hopefully it's just tendonitis and not something worse. Fortunately, pressing my WASDs doesn't aggravate it. Ooh, nice chastise onto Muradin. Muradin, you're short. It's super effective. You're right, Tracer. Tell that Anduin to shut up. Another ground breaker just barely missing. Gore having to walk back out a little bit. There's going to be a uh, Orphea dash. And a dash. Really good at hitting those. Nice little cluster of Imanees, but the Devour? Mind Devour? Not Mind Devour. What is it? Dread. You know, I, I play a good chunk of Orphea for fun, and you would think I would know that. But the Dread going to miss. Oh, 
Garage with the throw, then the stun. That's gonna work out a lot better. Slice down to half, but Grayman getting stunned and locked down. That was gonna be, that is a huge first blood for ICC Valkyries. Grayman going to meet his demise. Trying to figure out what, how, why you CC that long. I thought it was just the one stun. Uh, what we haven't done is taken a look at the offlane, but the Haka is uh, oh, already channel. I can't even. I couldn't see him over here. So we're going to get a trade between Valkslays and Xeno Ender for that first altar. And that is going to be an uncontested middle altar for ICC Valks. Yeah, you know, I think uh, waiting for that light bomb and whichever old Orphea goes, probably going to be the uh, crushing jaws given this team comp. Uh, probably a good idea waiting till 10. Nice set of rotation. Siege camp's coming up as we speak. As I speak, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Four man push into the bot lane gonna fall even farther behind on the camp game and Valks knows exactly where they are Lucio moving around with them wall rides it's setting up for that invade Lucio gonna get tossed I don't know if he did a push off there or what I that was huh interesting toss and stun I don't know if that was a misclick or a Lucio play but something happened what build is the Vala? Vala is snacks. Going for the for the uh, gambit. The old I think Vala's gambit is the most important one to keep up. The rest, I think, you just take for the value of the actual talent in the gambit, just a nice bonus. But Vala's is important. That is one tier of that talent reach. The Haka moving on down low. Leaving Blaze up to maybe be able to cap both altars though. Mira don't trying to stay alive. Gonna get that second win coming up to the Haka. Oh, the Haka walked down, didn't burrow down. So the Haka burrows back up or brush stalks for all you sticklers out there. Blaze getting chastised for a pair, I guess standing in a bush and Anduin is like, no, don't do that. And that's going to be a trade of those altars. 28-32 in favor of ICC Valkyries. That is leaving. Right now, camps aren't up. Altars aren't up. Both teams just trying to maintain and get soaked. This is the rotate, rotate, rotate time. Uh, Dahaka and Blaze both really good at double soaking, but it looks like the teams are doing the double soaking instead. And Dahaka gets the kill on the Blaze. Was that good? Was that impressive? Was that was that a fun fight? Should I go back for that? Damn. It's an off lane kill. They're used to those not being seen. Got to push here into the bottom lane. Uh, see a ping on the bush up above the garage. And it looks like a uh, leap of faith was used on the gray main. Jermaine? Jermaine Jackson? Jackson 5, Tito. Level 10s are on line. One altar coming up. Isolation. Crushing jaw. Cursed bullet. Light bomb and taunt. Taunt, 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 taunt. Into high thigh, very Lucio, Avatar, Welly, Reign of Vengeance, and uh, Combustion. I like it. I like the Combustion. Oh, Dudette's coming into the chat with the uh, with the Wild Heart emotes. Okay. Big blaze, Jet Propulsion in. Gonna get the double penetration on that chastise. Burrow coming through, light bump onto the Haka. 
and gonna get boop into Blaze. So Blaze gets light bomb, but Gore looking low. There's the taunt, not gonna be enough to save him, but the Crushing Jaws catches too. Here comes the Combustion, and that's gonna be a lot of damage onto that Anduin. That whole, that whole half of health bar turned yellow, and I think this channel goes handily over to the Valkyries. Let the assault begin. Is that all? There's, there's the push. Oh, I forgot to look at the No Death Club for last game. Big, big hidey hole. Looks like uh, the hockey got seen by the Frostbolt. Jamie coming in to poke some more. That uh, that subwoofer not gonna hit though from the Lucio checking, checking for uh, more in the bush. The side storm gank going to fall through. They're gonna make some rotations. Valkyrie's now up two altars roughly. Cause that can change. Once more, the altars rise from the depths. Mid and bottom altar. Looks like they're gonna just trade here. Let's take a look at Gray Man. Look at this channel. Look at him. It's like he's doing a science experiment. I love this dude's science experiment. He's like, yeah, my arcane, my arcane hand. The Welly's out though, chasing down the Anduin. That's gonna be a dead, a, a dead Welly. Looks like all five are in the bot side, ready for any funny business going around, going around, around these camps. There is another set of uh, progress on the on the Gambit quest for Vala. Lucio going to fall though. Vala gonna go down. That's gonna be big on that Gambit, but a triple kill coming out for the Jaina under that Blizzard is Graming. No, that's gonna be a four man kill. Four v five for uh, Valkyrie is going to turn into four kills. Oh, Darian, you cute little bugger. Why you got grass seed all in your fur? And it looks like uh, this is going to be that bottom fort going down for ICC Valks. Alright, after this game, uh, after this game, <laughs> in between, in between games, 28 to 20. Uh, we'll see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Darian a snack for y'all for free. Give him a little bit of food. Slicey, ay, ay, ay. Uh, looks like another trade of altars with the four man defense on the bottom side. No, Blaze gonna push in? Uh, no, no, no. Blaze said no. Janet gonna go cap bottom. This is gonna, going to be a 10 for three. Gonna take it to 25 to 10. ICC Valks pushing their way in, but this is Towers of Comebacks. This is like the map that you don't give up no matter where you are. You will pay for your arrogance. Pretty much. I guess there's a couple of opportunities. That it's like, alright, they have all seven, we uh they just they just capped all three at the same time or all three all uh towers at the same time, so they won't even spawn before our core is down. That's when you can give up. Taunt on the Lucio into the toss. That's going to be the crushing jaws as well. But Jaina 
getting that double kill onto Garrosh and Anduin. Lucio is going to die in that process as, as Garrosh expected. But as on it, not as Garrosh expected, going to be a four, make it five. No! Oh, Orphea coming in clutch, gonna grab the Tannin, but she goes down to the Vala. That was almost the pro Orphan comeback 1v5 opportunity. But uh, a well executed murder on the Lucio gone wrong as just absolute obliteration comes in on to Psystorm robes and that's what it's just that was that was a good counter engage i think i think i think size storm probes is trying to force engages instead of responding to the valkyrie engages i think the i think the valkyrie engages are the ones that i yeah i don't know it just I mean, I understand trying to get back into the game, but at this point, you're you're looking for the other team to throw, not. I don't know. It's hard though. It's hard because this is going to be another five points over to Valkyries that Psystorm doesn't doesn't get to say anything about. I get it. I get it. Good news is boss doesn't matter for Valkyries. Oh, Dahaka burrowing in for the interrupt. They're not going to get this channel yet. Blaze going to going to stun the Garrosh. There is the combustion going to get interrupted by the drag. It's not going to be enough. This tower is still red, just unloading all over the Psy Storm probes. Orphea does get that level one growing nightmare quest completed. Still working on that level seven, though. And uh, 150 stacks into 300 on this Creed of the Hunter. What are those one to 6% hatred damage bonus? Oh, that's a lot. Cause what does it start out as? Isn't it 2% each? Or I guess it's, I don't know. That Creed of the Hunter is huge, but they are going for boss anyway to put it at one. Twenty-five to one. It's not forty to one at least. Psy so Storm probes with an opportunity to come back still. Oh, let's take a look at this. Uh, that was the first Vala death. Okay. Or I guess Vala death was a little bit earlier. Anyway, only one Vala death, so not a whole lot of attack speed lost. Getting close on that level seven mind devourer quest for the Orphea, catching a few extra hits there. Walking away. Valkyrie is trying to take back this bottom fort and uh, finish up the game, but mid altar coming up soon. This is going to be Valkyrie's chance to close it out. I think they might still try to push in on this tower, but eh, I think that might be a uh, hard decision. Um, Ultra's up, that that level seven completed, and now is the all-in time. Got to get that interrupt. Unstoppable comes out, but that's still gonna stop the channel. The five-man combustion from Valk slaves. Maybe it was four. I don't know. It was a lot. Oh my goodness! That oh wow! Everyone just died. <coughs> just uh, uh, you're dead. Very well played by ICC Valks. ICC Valks slays. Oh man, GG. Let's take a look at uh, damage. Just, uh, uh, you know, worked out. Really good, really good XP. Uh, XP pretty even um, overall.
20 to 5 on the kills. I'm curious. Let me go look at that bracket real quick. I'm curious what the bracket, what the matchup was here. Oh, it's uh division that was C West. Oh wow, that was a number eight upset over number one. Congratulations, Valkyries. And it was Vengeance too. Uh, looks like. Psystorm probes beat Valkyries in round in the uh, regular season. Congratulations to the Valks. Hey, uh, who's the who's the captain? Uh, wait, hang on. I know how to look at this squad. Valkyrie is Valkyrie was not playing. Uh, I don't know. Any of you um, ICC Valk people want to hop in for a quick interview about the set? Talk about it real quick. All right, uh, Valkslays, you wanna you wanna come uh, hang out in NGS chat real quick? You don't have to. Like, don't don't consider this pressure at all. Like, I don't want to force anything upon anyone because it's all like off the cuff. Um. Oh, I see. Valk and Valk are the uh, captains of Valkyries. I I get it. I get it. But we. I mean, yeah, if you want to talk about it real quick, we can. No worries. No worries at all. Um, don't Make sure the door is open um, when you run through it. Have a good one. Uh, let me go throw this in. Oh, sure. If they want, I'm in uh, NGS2 real quick. NGS Lobby 2. If they want to, if they want to hop in. Um, quick chat. If not, uh, I'm going to start figuring out what set I'm going to cast next. Did I claim this? I did not claim this. All right, let's go. Ooh, let's go to Div A West for this. All right, it looks like I'll be meeting up with Slice here in a second. I have Slice. His microphone is muted, so this will be a very interesting conversation. Um, but Slice, the tank, I'm also a tank. I like tank conversations. Uh, congratulations on winning round one of the playoffs, taking down the number one seed. I also, my team played against an ICC team as the number one seed into the number eight seed. But fortunately for my team, we uh, did not get knocked down. Uh, congratulations, my guy. I'm not a guy, but thank you. It's, um, it's, <clears> a, it's, a, pardon my... it's a generic, <laughs> it's a generic expression. <laughs> I know it's, it's fine. I'm not offended. Pardon uh, my voice. <clears throat> I'm sick, but. Oh. Um, oh, mind is here. Hi, mind. Are you wearing Hi. a mask if you're going to be sick talking to me? Um, no, I'm not. <laughs> Sorry. I'll go grab one for no, your no, safety. No, no, no. <laughs> Discord mandated. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, right? Oh, man. Um, and mind. All right. Well, uh, mind playing the Jaina the whole time. So my ice bitch, what's going on? Good. How are you? It's there fun and serious. See, now I've gotten everybody wrong, so it's perfect. Um, <laughs> how, uh, so, so, uh, ICC Valkyries, I think this is your first season as a Valkyries, right? Or did, did y'all play last season? ICC is kind of a newer org, right? I... Uh, yeah, uh, do you want to say mind? Uh, if you know, go ahead. Um, this is a new team this season. The, um, ICC org has been around for a little while. Um, I'm not sure exactly how long. Um, quite a few seasons, I think. Um, but Valkyries is a newer team that um, Valkyrie and Valk Slays um, put on together. They were originally a part of another ICC um, They were both team like Queens, right? They yeah, they used to play for the Queens. Um, <clears throat> and then they decided that 
they wanted to uh, have another team set up, so they set up the Valkyries and um, brought in some people. And I don't know, I joined relatively late. Um, I joined for like the last maybe half-ish of the season. Um, so I'm not sure what the like order process was for like who joined when. Um, but yeah, this is a new team for this season. Awesome. Um, so Slice playing uh, Mirrodin and a new brack right that those are those are your picks there yes. uh both very versatile very strong tanks i think a new brack has kind of taken over as the uh, strongest tank right now uh just in general and uh, mirrodin just very versatile really all around not really a bad situation for him um what was uh i didn't get to see the draft because of how the replay files work but uh, I'm interested in the thoughts on, on these drafts and how you decided your tank with these picks. Uh, sure. I'm trying to remember what was what was our draft in the first game? It was it was a new barack. Um, uh, Jaina. Jaina, White Main, and Jaina. oh, and and <laughs> White uh, Mane. Tyke, right? Tychus. Yeah, and then Valk was on uh, Blaze that game as well. Yes. Right. That's correct. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so in, like, I think in general, um, we sort of prioritize Jaina because she's, like, a really strong overall mage. She's got good wave clear, got good burst potential. Um, so just in general, she's a nice, like, hinge for a comp to kind of rest on. We can kind of build anything around that. It doesn't really, you know, push us one way or the other. Um, and Anubarak, I really like him, um... He has good push potential with the beetle build. He's got great CC chain. Um, he's got good disengage, good engage. He's just like, like you said, a really strong tank. <clears throat> so I like to prioritize taking him in general. Um, and Valk likes Blaze because she's great on Blaze. She can hold a lane. She can come and follow up on stuns, um, join fights and things like that. Um, and of course, Water's uh, white mane is disgusting. Um, mm -hmm. So like to let him pick that whenever possible and uh um <laughs> decidron's uh <laughs> perfect <laughs> yes uh and then decidron's uh tychus is like a comfort pick for him and he likes picking that into um the johanna since they first picked her he was like oh i'm gonna take tychus here so i think we just did a really good job of like recognizing what they were picking and um kind of countering it and, and moving from there and recognizing that if they have Johanna as their front line, we can just walk past her and be really aggressive and um, get on the back line. And she kind of struggles to deal with that. So that's what we did. Well, it worked out. Uh, it looks like uh, pretty well. Pretty well. Um, yeah. The, the uh, Jaina yeah, seems to ahead. be a comfort pick here as well for um, for Mind. I see, Surprisingly, I, I not. really liked my I really liked my on the men joke, and then you had to come in and ruined it with this is how my name is said. I you asked. I only got in chat because I, you, you know, asked. I want to be I want to be correct. So, <laughs> but I also want to be I want to be correct, but I also want to be right. Um, <laughs> so Understood. Jana, not a comfort pick. So how how is this working out for you then? I mean, she's a comfort in that like I've played her for a while but she's not my go-to but the team likes it when i play jaina so i play jaina they're good jaina man hmm. Sometimes plus that kona cold need. plus the kona cold build like people i don't know i guess they just don't expect it at this level yet i don't know have it, a lot of success with it i i mean i, I thought that was more kind of the direction that it's going just in general but uh just especially adding uh what do they they buffed it a little bit what more cooldown with the root or something uh i don't think kona cold has been buffed in quite a while i know they tried to make ice wand fury at seven viable but no one's going to take that they give like partial uh cooldown reduction when you're pve -ing. so <laughs> but outside of that i don't think they've touched kona cold build at all um okay interesting uh i don't i'm i'm a tank uh, uh i'm a tart so <laughs> um icc valks uh a new team at, le at least a new squad right so where uh not where how words are hard yes the um playoffs you're in the playoffs you just took off the number one team 
the number one seed team as the number eight seed team. So I the answer is no longer them. Um, what what team is it that you're looking forward most to playing in the playoffs? If assuming that the bracket goes as you would design it to go, um, who are you looking forward to the most to to that rematch with? To be fair, I think this team that we just faced off with was one of the harder teams uh, for us. I didn't play in the original game against them, and they had their KTZ player, which we kind of missed out on this time around. But um, I think a lot of the players on the team were looking forward to this team, you know, uh, getting revenge on them. Yeah. Yeah, that can uh, that can be a thing. Um definitely uh you always want to go back and win against the most challenging teams that you play just something about it just feels so good and to dominate them no less and not to say they didn't play well i just i guess we just had the right draft yeah i think our draft was the big thing they just like because in the second game we just totally pivoted and they went a super aggressive blow up Thing, and we went for a more like we'll poke you from far away blow you up if you come to us but we can move away disengage boop you like we played a much more passive kind of comp <clears throat> yeah that's what i was saying at the and beginning think, there for that, yeah. that second game that it, it seemed like y'all would be once y'all wanted to once y'all wanted to be on then they would have a hard time getting away yeah so i think i think the combination of just we drafted really well and we recognize what our win condition was and how like we should go about um, fighting them or not fighting them. Um, and I think, I don't know if maybe the, the first, the first game losing that kind of threw them off a little bit. I feel like they just struggled to get like, to find their footing and know how to deal with what we were doing. Um, so I think it was, you know, a combination of good draft and good strategy and just, you know, good plays and positioning and everything from everyone. Yeah, and it worked out really well. Again, congratulations. Uh, real quick, uh, I always like to give people an opportunity to say hi to what to whoever or, or whatever they want to do. But I have one more question for both of y'all before we go. ICC, uh, ICC, a relatively newer organization. I'm really glad to see it growing and doing well. If you each were to create a new Ice Crown Citadel team, what would be the mascot? What would you call it? ICC what? Hmm. God, I don't know. Um, well, you're on the spot now. <laughs> ICC Insanity. Insanity? Uh, you should hear my battle cries in the middle of a match. <laughs> <laughs> they can't be worse than my teams. I've heard lick my butthole and... Um, oh, God. And exclamations of F you, this character. I mean, roll all that up into one, and I think that's kind of what I was doing when I finally got to unleash myself in uh, towers. Oh, don't don't unleash yourself here! Oh my goodness, uh, oh, I, this is a not X-rated channel. Um, no worries. Uh, I would opt to just join mine's team instead of making my own team. Oh, that's <laughs> a cop out. Right. I don't. I'm, I can't think of. I, right. I. I'm looking at my cat. It would be the ICC cats. How about that? <laughs> works <laughs> all right uh well mind and slice thank you so much for joining me congratulations on the win the floor is yours uh real quick for anything else that you think needs to be said nope i just think my team needs me in this uh ranked game i'm in oh pff, eh, it's matchmaking <laughs> who cares bye all right uh i don't have anything to say other than uh thank you for casting that's really cool of you to do that um yeah, thanks for pinging us for it too. Yeah, yeah. that was awesome. I'm glad y'all um, could make it live. Good. I know it's like a Friday. Oh, now a Friday evening, so I guess people are free. But you know, families and stuff exist too. But I'm glad y'all sure. are able to come join. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, thank you for casting and um, just I don't know. Shout out to my team. We did so well, and everybody played amazing. And I'm like really proud of how everyone did, and it was really cool. It felt really good to beat the top team. Like that was quite a shock, but it felt really good. So yeah. Uh, definitely, I definitely understand how that feels. Hopefully no one in my division gets to have that feeling. Um, <laughs> Hope not. because I'd, I'd like to keep it. Uh, th again, thank you so much. Congratulations. And y'all don't know who you're playing next, do you? We do uh, not. No, Ooh, that don't. makes scouting hard. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I have no idea. Oh man. All right. Well, uh, with that, have a fantastic evening. Stick around. I'm about to do another, uh, another replay. 
uh, if y'all want to check out some more casting. But again, thank you so much for joining me. And, Absolutely. Uh, good, good luck next week. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And with that, I am Taco. This has been. Oh, oh but. Oh, before. shit. I pressed. I. Why? I'm pressing all the wrong buttons on my board. Okay, there we go. I found the buttons. Uh, I'm Taco. This has been a, a replay cast of Cystorm Probes versus ICC Valks. Uh, I'm going to run my outros, and then you're going to see me doing setup for the next set. Uh, actually, you probably won't need to see the setup part. So I'm going to do my outros as though it's a normal video, and then I'm going to... Uh, we're going to watch some Heroes of the Storm uh, trailers while I set up for the next match. Uh, Clouded Minds After Dark versus I'm Not Trolling. So please, please stick around, and we will have a good time, and I will be right back. Gotski looking for that damage, finds him on the Diablo, Diablo forced it back out, as their health drops low, the Immortal now is not trolling back down here. Yo on the Grey Man, give me the first of all, but is it ETC? No, that's Malthale up there, a triple. The Leyline needs in the back, catching three people on top, that followed up by the APOC and the Lurking Hog, catching two, but this time on, it's gonna be the first one. Wow, did you see that mosh pit? Four man mosh pit, while on a conveyor belt, that was like a regular sushi. There's the lead, catches him in the mud pit, time trap does pop, uh, mosh pit goes out, so he's still in trouble, pops the stay a while, listen, but it's not gonna Dog food for the crazy. I didn't think they had a chance. I thought it was all over. We said all or nothing, and they got absolutely everything. Leonidas drops the stun and drops the full ult. Oh my goodness, look at the health bars. It's a quad kill. He should find the kill. Lunara will clean up that fight. Oh my god, I can't believe it. It is going to be Soul Shield. You gotta be kidding me. And Rana takes the 3v1, gets one, looking for the second. Crispy is popping off. Crispy. It's like that Blizzard may connect with four oh. people. Lady Ronin. Oh my goodness, what a chat. That was really good.